Good evening, everybody. Thank you all for coming. It's a pleasure to see this much support in our county for our newly elected, uh, or re-elected sheriff and all the deputies up here um, that serve this wonderful county. Um, sheriff, the inspection is complete and all are present. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Our invocation will be uh, by Pastor Shane Moran. You could come up, please. Let us pray. Almighty God, you are so awesome. And you have called us to an awesome vocation. Father, we ask that you be with us. Be with us here now as we rededicate our lives to the mission that you have given us, Lord. And be with us each and every day uh, as we go out into the public to do your mission to serve and protect. We ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. And now we'll have welcome remarks from retired Honorable Scott McGlashlin. And I'm sure he's going to welcome some of our dignitaries here. <laughs> Thank you, Dwayne. Yes, sir. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, sir. It's a happy occasion, not so solemn. Um, ladies and gentlemen, um, Sheriff Hoffman, deputies, elected officials, and especially you, the citizens of Queen Anne's County, welcome to the oldest courthouse still in continuous use in the state of Maryland, and in fact, as Judge Ross has determined, the oldest one in the U.S. of A. But thank you, county commissioners, because we have a brand new courthouse right across the street that will soon be occupied. And I kind of thought it was, somebody said, well, it's a shame, Scott, you won't get in a new courthouse. I said, no, God was good. Old clerk, old courthouse. New clerk, new courthouse. <laughs> the office of the sheriff is one of the oldest and highest elected offices dating back to old England. I want to personally thank you, Sheriff Hoffman, and the many deputies who I have had the pleasure of working with over these 24 years in this court. Gary wanted me to briefly give a historical overview of his office, and in preparing my brief remarks, it quickly struck me that I have known and worked with many previous sheriffs during my time in Queen Anne's County. Let me mention Sheriffs Joe Quimby, George Sharp, Walter Clow, Mel Sewell, Charles Crosley, and our current sheriff, Gary Hoffman. Let me just interject right here also that like my office and like Gary's office, we could not operate without our chief deputies. And uh, so I want to, Wayne Boardman, congratulations. Nice job. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Scott. And also we have in the audience tonight a previous chief deputy, Bill Sharp, his dad was sheriff here, affectionately known to many of us as Dollar Bill. <laughs> also, it struck me also interesting, George Sewell, one of, our, one of Gary's deputies, his father was sheriff here in Queen Anne's County itself. That's a proud, proud Harris, George, loved your dad. Let me say that no sheriff can be successful and leave without the support and professional knowledge of all sworn deputies, especially those present, to take their oath of office this evening and to do the job that they demonstrate, ladies and gentlemen, this is important, on a daily basis. They bring to us the citizens of Queen Anne's County and the sheriff, their dedication and willingness to serve and to protect our county. This approach I've experienced over my many years continues to reinforce the concept, the team concept. Without this approach, public trust and confidence suffers and it will not work. However, that's not the case here in Queen Anne's County. The teamwork between the court, sheriff's office, state's attorney, thank you Lance, 
and our county commissioners. Thank you, county commissioners. I, it, I want to recognize that. And, and ladies and gentlemen, it's practiced every day here in Queen Anne's County, and that should be applauded. Let me also say that today our sheriff continues to provide his office and staff and our citizens, now I'm a private citizen, Gary, <laughs> with, 20, uh, and with capable men and women required in a 21st century police force. Just stop and think. Our deputies are today, today are equipped with body cams, body radios, and a multitude of items on those damn heavy belts. Is that right, Phil English? They are heavy. Let's not forget the deputy's ability today to administer Narcan for those citizens trapped by, the, by a drug addiction, which is now recognized as a national epidemic. Add to this above what the deputy is expected to know and to apply pursuant to Maryland law. I would suggest it takes a very highly trained individual who can quickly analyze any given situation. Bottom line, a balance and burden between the goal to serve and to protect. I would like to commend you, Gary, and your deputies regarding, and I really like this in the, in the Star Democrat, Shop with a Cop, now renamed Shop with a Hero. And boy, that is the truth. What a great way, ladies and gentlemen, for you to interface with our citizens, particularly the youth of our county because they are the future leaders, not only of this county, of this nation. On behalf of all Queens County citizens, let me close by simply saying to you, <coughs> Sheriff, and our dedicated Sheriff's deputies, thank you, thank you. And as a senior citizen and a fan of the old TV show, Hill Street Blues, I wanna to quote to you gentlemen and ladies what Phil, Sergeant Phil Esterhouse used to say when he would end roll call. Ladies and gentlemen, be careful out there. Thank you very much. Next, we're gonna have um, the um, inspection of the Governor's Commission and remarks by Catherine Hager, our current clerk and our Honorable Lance G. Richardson, the state's attorney for our fine county. And by the way, commissioners, I understand that the new courthouse is gonna have air conditioning, correct? <laughs> Good evening, everyone. My name is Katherine Hager, and I'm your clerk, new clerk of the circuit court. It is such a great honor to be here tonight to administer this oath of office to the Honorable Gary Hoffman, Sheriff, and his deputies. I know Lance and Richardson, the state's attorney, and Gary will agree with me. However, we cannot do our jobs alone. It takes a great team effort, and we have that with our offices as um, the justice partners. The clerk's office staff and the state's attorney staff, some may be here this evening, and the sheriff deputies and the civilian staff of the sheriff's deputies. We all have a wonderful working relationship, which in turn provides you, the citizens, with the best services and public trust and confidence, as Scott mentioned. Tonight, I'm proud to introduce the newest member of my administration, and that is my new chief deputy clerk of court, Doug Arnold. Doug, if you could please stand. Doug's first day was with us was yesterday, January 2nd, so I'm happy to have him here with us here this evening. We're so fortunate to have him here in Queen Anne's County. He has brings many years of experience working in clerk's offices. Gary, thank you for all that you and your deputies and your civilian staff do every day in giving the best services to the citizens we serve. Great job. Lance, would you like to say a few words before we do the inspection? Sure. I know the sheriff's expecting me to make jokes, but I'm going to be a little serious tonight. First, I want to say congratulations to the fine men and women of this department. My thoughts are society is a mess right now, more divided than I've ever seen it. Gratuitous violence, 
the drug epidemic. There's so much suffering going on right now. And you, the officers, you are the brave and the honorable few that are expected to keep us safe. Hold our community together so the very fabric of our society doesn't unravel. You place your lives on the line every day for our safety, and we as a community thank you for your dedicated service. We depend on your honesty and your integrity while serving as police officers. To be great at what you do, you must have a, a passion for helping others. You must want to make a difference in our society, in our community. You must always do what is right. Knowing the right thing to do is easy. Actually doing it is sometimes a much more difficult part. Remember, first and foremost, you are expected to be the best of what we as a community have to offer. You are not Democrats or Republicans out there. You are not black or white or Hispanic or Asian. You are simply good Americans. And you're expected to be the best among us, our law enforcement officers. I can't think of any other profession that you're expected to be near perfect every day. And that's what the burden that's laid upon you. But do not take this obligation lightly. All I can say is God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for your service. And thank you to our sheriff and his command staff. Could you please come forward? I'm going to read your um, certificate this evening, your commission. To Gary Hoffman of Centerville, Maryland. Greeting. Be it known that the people of Queen Anne's County reposing great trust and confidence in your integrity and wisdom did on the 6th day of November 2018 elect you sheriff. You are therefore to execute the said office justly, honestly, diligently, and faithfully according to law and hold the same for a term of four years beginning on November 6, 2018 or until you shall be duly discharged therefrom. Given under my hand in the great seal of Maryland, Lawrence J. Hogan, Jr., Governor of the State of Maryland, at the city of Annapolis on the 27th day of November in the year of our Lord, 2018. I wanted to say also that you don't have to silence the children because I'm sure my daughter will be quite vocal during this. Detail, okay, up. Oh. Please raise your right hand and insert your name after I, I. I, Gary Hoffman. Do swear. Do swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And that I will be faithful. And that I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To the state of Maryland. To the state of Maryland. And support the Constitution. And support the Constitution. And laws thereof. And laws thereof. And that I will. And that I will. To the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. <laughs> diligently and faithfully. Diligently and faithfully. Without partiality or prejudice. Without partiality or prejudice. Execute the office. Execute the office. Of Sheriff of Queen Anne's County. Of Sheriff of Queen Anne's County. According to the Constitution. According According to the Constitution and laws of this state. And laws of this state. Congratulations. Thank you, Kathy. Now welcome Commissioner Steve Wilson for further remarks from the commissioners.
Well, good evening, folks. And uh, now that I find your responsive group, good evening. Good evening. Thank you. It's uh, an honor to be here, and I, as probably the least eloquent of our three commissioners, would like to thank my two fellows, President uh, Moran and the distinguished Honorable Duino. Chris, huh? Chris is here, too. Wait, Chris. Chris, God bless you, son. <laughs> Welcome. On behalf of we commissioners who are fundamentally representing the public, I'd like to make a couple of remarks, not to the public or my fellow commissioners, but to you gentlemen and officers. First, I'd like to start by commending you on your appearance and deportment, which is exemplary. Four years ago, I stood in front of this group of people and spoke. I think you certainly the ghost of Christmas past here, McGlashan would remember it. And I spoke to you about the importance in Queen Anne's County of community policing. And by that, I don't mean the assignment of commissioners, or excuse me, of police to specific areas, but the development of a warm relationship in between the public and the, and the uh, enforcement officers. During the last four year period, we have had uh, per year, in this last year, for instance, we had 5,287 calls in from 911 to your department. We're running something in the neighborhood of 39,000 inter interactions with the public. And during the last four years, that, that would total something like 160,000 total interactions with the public. Not one single time has anything come before we commissioners in terms of any complaint or difficulty, which really is a testimony to the extraordinary good efficiency of this department for which I'd like the public to give you a hand. That is a job superbly well done and representing the public, we'd like to thank you for that. Uh, and all I can say is, as representatives of the public, what we hope for is just a continuance of that good feeling that makes Queen Anne's County, which is well known for its uh, kind of warm feeling, a great deal of that is created by you and your good enforcement of the law and action and respect to the public. In this county, the police are well, the sheriff's deputies are extremely well liked and well spoken of. And we have nothing but the highest regards and, and uh, compliments for you. So with that, that's it. And I'd like to commend also the sheriff, Major Boardman, and the other leadership of the department for their excellent management. Thanks. Thank you, Commissioner. And now we have uh, Sheriff Hoffman, if you could come up for some remarks. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Um, good evening. I wanted to take and thank the Honorable Judge Thomas Ross and our Honorable Madam Clerk, Catherine Hager, for allowing us to hold this historical ceremony here in this old courthouse. I want to take a minute first, before I do anything, to thank my wife, Olga, and daughter, Alexander. My son and daughter, Laura and Joey, and my family, I want to thank them for everything they've done. My family, my mom, Pat, Isabella, sister Connie, and her family, um, Greg, that are seated up here to support me. For those of you that are elected, you know that we couldn't have accomplished this job, and I mean this, without the support of our families. And it means so much to the support of our families. But the support of our communities is just as important. Family is so important. Being, electing, being elected and holding this position for the past 12 years, it wouldn't be possible without family. You've all given up so much to allow me to lead this office and serve this great community and work for these men and women. Olga, I love you and I appreciate it and you're amazing. Before I begin, I want to acknowledge the elected officials um, that were here. If I could just have them stand real quick, I just really want to thank them for everything they've done for us. So the elected officials could stand briefly. 
And we have Chris Corcorino back there. Thank you. Lance, Catherine, thank you. This courthouse was authorized by the acts of the Maryland General Assembly after removal from the county seat. I apologize. I'm one page ahead. I want to personally take and thank our community that is here tonight. There is such a rich history in this building. I can remember 25 years ago sitting up here at the uh, witness box, shaking, sitting in front of Judge South. So many lives were changed in this courtroom. A lot of positive lives and a lot of negative lives as well for things that were done. People were held accountable in this courthouse. There's such a rich history here. Imagine this building that we're all sitting in, standing here when George Washington was inaugurated our president. This courthouse was authorized by the acts of the Maryland General Assembly after the removal of the county seat from the town of Queenstown to Chester Mills and then here to Centerville. It was erected between 1791 and 1796 on the land purchased from Elizabeth Nicholson from her portion of the Chesterfield estate, the estate of her grandfather, William Sweetman. I, we, stand in the footsteps of so many talented dedicated and honorable men and women who created, shaped, and managed this great county that we live in. To think Sheriff Richard Tillman started serving this county in 1708. To date, there have been 73 sheriffs that stood before me with a talented, dedicated staff that I have that have all served this community. But first, I'd like to take a moment of silence. The hat and the gloves that you see lying before you for those that have gone in the past, the deputies that have passed, Jason Schwentz, who died in the line of duty, Dale Patrick, who had retired from us, died one year after retirement, and the sheriffs that stood before me, Sheriff Quimby, Sheriff Sharp, Sheriff Clow, Sheriff Sewell, and Sheriff Crosley. These men that stood before me shaped our future of policing and created the beginning of policing as we know it now today. To them and the other 73 former sheriffs and staffs, we will always remember you. Thankfully tonight in this room, we have many men and women who have survived those traumatic encounters with the community and have not perished as Lance talked about. Our society has definitely changed. There are so many people to thank for allowing my staff and I to serve you. I'm sure that I may have missed someone, but to our community, I appreciate your support and your trust. We will always stand before you, we will stand in front of you, and we will protect this great county that we call home. There are so many partners, though, behind the scenes that you don't see. We appreciate and owe a debt of gratitude and thanks to my administrative staff, the dispatchers, the detention center staff, state's attorney's office, county employees, our auxiliary deputies, our commissioners, our fire companies, and our allied police agencies. To the voters that trusted in my leadership and management, I appreciate you reelecting me to this honorable position. I will always serve you and our staff 24 seven, and I know that you hold our staff and I to the highest level of honesty and integrity performing the best quality of policing that keeps our kids, our families, and our neighbors safe. To the voters who did not select me as your candidate, I promise you I will work harder to earn your support in the future. To our big family that's here, and I walked around the room earlier, the families of our staff, both sworn and civilian, the husbands that are here, the wives that are here, the children, the parents, relatives, thank you and I genuinely mean this, thank you for supporting these men and women who stand before all of us, those who serve us. When duty calls, we have missed birthdays, holidays, lazy days by the pool, and so much more. I personally thank all of the families that are represented here on behalf of our community for supporting these men and women who made the choice to protect and serve each one of us. We couldn't do our jobs, and I genuinely mean that without your sacrifice and support. Although you may not always hear the words, but we do thank you and we do appreciate your support for our careers. Tonight we celebrate our retirement process of this historical 
steadfast building as we prepare to move into the new courthouse across the lawn. I ask that you remember the history that this landmark has accomplished, both good and bad, in this old courthouse that has served these citizens. Honorable Clerk, are we prepared to administer the oath of office to these deputies, the men and women? Detail. Oh. I wanted to briefly explain that we're doing two oaths tonight. One is the old oath that is required by law in the courts and judicial proceedings. You're going to hear wording in there like lucre and malice. That is the old language. And then we'll be adding a new oath tonight that also represents the office and our accreditation process. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Deputies, if I could please have you raise your right hand and insert your name after I, I, do swear, do swear that I will not for lucre or, or malice delay any person applying to me, for any business belonging to the office I officiate in, and that I will not directly, and that I will not directly or indirectly, or indirectly ask Ask, take, take, exact, exact demand, demand, or receive from, or, receive from, or, or, charge to any such person, or charge to any such person, to my own use, to my own use any, fee or reward whatsoever, any fee or reward whatsoever, for any service I may do, for any service I may do as deputy of said office, as deputy of said office and that in making out the office fees, I will not wittingly or willingly charge other or higher fees than are allowed by law. Congratulations. Congratulations. When you all exit tonight, um, you'll be signing the actual test book downstairs on your way out. At this time, deputies will be taking the oath of the office. Oh. Insert your name where I insert mine. If everyone would please raise their right hands. I, Gary Hoffman, do solemnly swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the United States of America and the state of Maryland. That I will serve honestly and faithfully to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Maryland. That I will enforce the laws of Queen Anne's County and the State of Maryland. And that I will obey the orders of the sheriff and my superior officers according to the rules and regulations of the office of the sheriff, Queen Anne's County, and the state of Maryland. Congratulations. Now I'd like to introduce Lieutenant Duke Johnston. He's our patrol commander. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, elected officials, honorable sheriff, major. Tonight we come for our swearing in ceremony. We've had a lot of new members, sheriff, since the uh, 
the last swearing in ceremony. At this juncture, I would like to introduce to you, as well as the citizens and elected officials, our newest members of our staff. Major Dwayne Boardman. If you would raise your hand when I call your name so that everybody knows who you are. DFC Christopher Carnaggio. DFC Alex Cooper. Raise your hand higher. <laughs> DFC Stephen Creason. DFC Ryan Davidson. DFC Jeff Lewis. DSC Joseph Patakowski, K9. DSC Michael Piasecki, K9. Deputy Tyler Bateschultz. Deputy Mary Beth Barlow. Deputy Dylan Bennett. Deputy James Bradley. Deputy Darren Bush. Deputy Justin Custis. Deputy Savannah Dickey. Deputy Michael Iman. Deputy Daryl Crease. Deputy Patrick Madison. In the corner. Deputy Tim Myers. He's downstairs. He's downstairs. Deputy Leonard Pack. Okay. <coughs> Deputy George Parker. <coughs> Deputy Thomas Austin Patchett. <coughs> Deputy Pete Sackrider. Deputy Mark Schalke. Deputy Daniel Sutton. Deputy Tyler Argybright. Deputy Matthew Johnston. Deputy Austin Frazier. Deputy Nicholas Mean. Deputy Benjamin Williams. Deputy Robert Newins. We have two other recruits that are currently in the academy. Sheriff, they are unable to be here tonight. It is uh, Recruit Deputy Amy McCollum and Recruit Deputy Roger Brown. Thank you, sir. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Lieutenant. That's a lot of additions. Welcome to everybody. Uh, now uh, we're gonna have closing remarks by Sheriff Gary Hoffman. <laughs> These closing remarks are to my staff, deputies, both civilian and sworn. We have the best, and I mean that. We have the most talented, dedicated, and professional staff. You all are willing to do almost any service to protect all of us where we live, work, and play here in Queen Anne's County. When things go bad, and I know this, when things go bad without any hesitation at all, I can assure our community that each and every one of you, and I mean that, you all will advance towards that hazard. You will ensure the needs that this community knows that they will feel safe when you arrive and you will comfort them with your service. We have demonstrated this and I am very proud of each and every one of you for that accomplishment. They will feel the protection and comfort when you arrive. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. We're one big family, and I mean that. And I can tell you, we have our ups and downs, like any family, there's no doubt about it. But each and every one of us would be willing to make the ultimate sacrifice for any one of our other brothers or sisters in blue, as well as for any single member of this community. I want to thank our staff, and I want to thank our command staff because I couldn't do this job 
without the professionalism of each and every one of you. I personally appreciate you, and I can tell you that this community really does appreciate you. The Sheriff's Office that you provide constitutional duties for, process serving, warrants, court security, prisoner transports, and the role of modern policing with the highest level of accredited policies, training, equipment, and services to the residents and visitors that come here to Queen Anne's County. Major Dwayne Borman and I are honored to work with each and every one of you. You're an important part of our premier law enforcement agency. Every single one of you leads by example. You are the best. I want each of you to be safe out there. But there's one thing that's very important to me is that I want all of you to know that you have one obligation that's at the top of your list is always please put your family first. But keep us safe. And at the end of each shift, I want to make sure that each one of you goes home to your family. I salute all of you and I thank you. Thank you. Put them at ease. At ease. And now we'll have the benediction by Pastor Leroy Fitz. And now, O Sovereign of the Universe, bless, O God, this great assembly of your people with your grace, truth, and providential care. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, that does conclude our ceremony. Um, we're going to keep the staff here for just a couple minutes because we're going to try to get a group photo. Um, this is virtually our only opportunity to get a photo like this. Um, so thank you all very much for coming. It's a pleasure to serve all of you. Sheriff. Just a huge thank you again to everybody. We couldn't do this without you, and I really appreciate everybody that's here. So many friendly faces, family members, and all that. And thank you for supporting these men and women that support us. Thank you.